Hello, today I will be showing you guys on how to identify a Madagascar hissing cockroach's gender and how to breed them. First up, let me get the cockroaches. This may take a while, so please don't mind that. First, go. First one we will be identifying the gender of is a male. Oops, oopsie daisies. Here is a male Madagascar hissing cockroach. As you can see, it's quite big. Well, he's quite big. But look, you see these two horns? He has two large horns. Those are used, those are exactly used for fighting other males. And look at those bushy antenna too. His antennae seem thick and a bit bushy, like a moth's antennae. First, let me get a cash cup so I can show you a female and a male side by side. Without this little guy escaping while I'm trying to do something. Here, you can, you guys can watch his movements while I go and get a female. A female might be a bit more fighty because she has more urge to escape rather than fight, unlike a male does. Males also waste their time and energy trying to fight or compete for territory, so they're usually a bit slow and more docile when you handle them than a female. Okay, let's get that camera so you guys can watch. Let's find that female. Oof, that's a lot of females. Got our female. Let's scoop him up. Wait well, your turn, buddy. And now here is a female. See the female doesn't see the female doesn't have any horns because she doesn't need to fight for any territory. In fact, the males are fighting for her. She's the only uh she's the only female adult, so so um, it's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be quite a pickle for all of the other males because they really wanna go. No! Sorry, those are my dogs. Sorry, my dogs, I'll probably see a person outside. Anyways, look a little close. See, her antennae aren't as bushy as the males. See your antennae, baby. See? Side by side, his antennae are a bit more bushy than hers. He needs to pick up pheromones with all those bushy antennae. But we can also look... But if they're young and haven't developed the differences yet, there is one difference that is almost guaranteed to let you know. Come on, baby. It's okay. Oh, she's strong. Come on, it's okay. <laughs> she can pick up a whole towel. Come on, it's okay, baby. You wanna let him go of that? Baby, come on. You need to let go.
Look, no. You're a pickle, aren't you, baby? Okay, finally, I've got her under my grasp. See that? She only has one big, giant plate. While a male, let's see you. Look at them side by side. A male has two, has two more plates, while she has only one big plate. Oh no. Kim was losing focus. See, he has a bit more plates than she does. You can see the difference, right? Now, because of this, you can go back now. And because of this difference, you can also identify it by like little ins when they're insy bitsy babies. I can let's put these two back. Nope, you're not getting them. Come here. First, we're gonna put back the female because her cage. First, that comes to mind. Come on, baby. Go back to your babies. Come on, baby. Good girl. Now, it's next. And if you're wondering what their names are, because oh yeah, girl, I said coconut. There's no coconuts around. Oh yeah, girl, I said coconut. Right, right. Well, the male here is named Mite, because he's the one that brought the mite infestation. Well, not exactly infestation, because the mites that you probably, if you have a good eye, saw them in this video, are very good mites. They help, um, they help clean the cockroaches. They help clean the cockroach, because some, pl because some places of the cockroaches, um, they can't clean themselves at that place. So the mites help them and help them live longer. First baby acquired, second baby shall be acquired as soon as I can get it. Okay, second baby finally acquired. It's a female. I'm gonna move. To... Oh, he's so hard to see. Anyways. Thankfully. Oops, he's gotta switch hands. Sorry, baby doll. My goodness. Baby. Now, you can see her abdomen, see? It's exactly the same as the one we showed earlier, and she's an insy bitsy baby. You can go back in the video and see the size difference between the others. She's just an insy wincy baby. Well, she's almost an adolescent, but she still shows no signs of, um... She still shows no signs of being different. She still shows no signs. Okay, I'm sorry about the weepy. <laughs> she, so, she shows no signs of being a male or female on the outside. You can't see her. You honestly can't see her horns. You can't see her little antennae. They're all the same. Except for her abdomen. Her abdomen. They're all born with this, so 
that's how you know how to um gender identify. Now for the little male, the little pickle here who knows how to climb walls with plastic. Hey, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need to switch hands with you. Sorry, buddy. His abdomen ha is split into different pieces, indicating that he's a male. Now you know how to identify a uh, hissing cockroach's gender, young or not. Here you go. Now it's time for us to explain how you t how to breed them. For for breeding conditions, you need a warm environment, and also a very moist and humid humid environment. Like not too humid, but not absolutely dry. They really like it at the tropical level of humid because they originate from Madagascar, which means that their bodies are really used to humid and are very used to humid and warm environments. And to do this, you can use a spray bottle foot foot in their enclosure. See, this is a good timing because <clears throat> they need to be squatted. I can show you how. All you have to do is really just spray into their enclosure. To in their enclosure. You can also open the lid if you you can also open the lid to do it if you like you don't if you want to get it real thorough. This is the first time in one of my videos of which I show a Madagascar hissing cockroach up close. Because sometimes in my cleaning videos, I do it in speed one, so it's not a really clear view of them. Stop climbing on the glass walls. How do you do that? Anyways, you can also do an anatomy checkup. In, in a different video, if you guys are interested, leave a like and comment down below if you are. And after you, p and okay, now continue on, continuing on. Okay, sorry, I have a bad tongue today. I paused. <laughs> My brain paused. Okay, 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 okay. So after you set up the breeding conditions, all you need to do is put a male and a female together. I recommend doing it alone so there's no other males or other females, just one singular male and one singular female. And after separating them from their group, make sure it's a warm and humid climate, just like the breeding conditions. And then you will most likely see them breeding in a couple of days. There are no competitors, and also, and you also have to wait a couple more days because they have to get comf comfortable in their new environment and able to breed. They have to melt away the stress, and soon they'll be all ready to go. I also, but if you don't want them to breed, I recommend um, separating um, the genders in your colony, like I did a couple days ago. I couldn't record that because... I did it late at night, and I'm not allowed to record late at night. So. Okay, my brain keeps pausing. So now. 
you also I also recommend counting the babies and seeing if any and if you're a Madagascar hissing cockroach breeder, then you're going to have to look for deformities to make sure that they don't grow up and breed. You can also feed them to other pets. Cats, dogs, you can just feed them. They're very viable so food sources for um, lots of a animals and pets. They contain lots of protein when they're adults, so you can also breed the deformed ones and um, give them to like pet lizards, pet tarantulas, pet birds maybe, and lots of other reptilians and amphibians including birds, as I mentioned. Um, and after that, okay, yeah, my brain paused because that's about all you guys need to know. Like for part two on roach anatomy, because then I'll be explaining spiracles, how they stick to glass, and all sorts of things on their body that I will in fact explain very carefully. Now stay tuned!